And now we have our scores in for match number 17. All right, match number 15, 205 to 152. Nice job by the Red Alliance, 15005 and 19168. Back over on our central field, qualification match number 17, just about ready to get underway. Competitors in this match on our Red Alliance, we have team 18-5-23. It's yeah. Vertigo. Their partners this match, team 10-4-15. They're the Warbots. Over on our Blue Alliance, it's Team 14204. It's Super Scream Bros. And our final member of the Blue Alliance, Team 9410. Frank's Garage. There's the call to randomize. Our scoring system indicating to our referees the orientation of the signals. And we have the all clear match 17 in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Randomization on the signal zone was number two for this match. So teams want to drive straight forward and park. And it looks like that's exactly what 18523 Vertigo has done, securing those parking points for the Red Alliance. On the front side of the field, the Blue Alliance still continuing to score cones. Super Screen Bros now with the fourth blue cone for the Blue Alliance. Drivers. Pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. So blue with a little bit of a lead here as we go into driver controlled. Red did secure those parking points though, so that's gonna help them stay, stay tight with the blue alliance there. During the autonomous period, any, sco any cones that are scored earn double points. So if teams are placing on a high junction, those cones are worth 10 points instead of five. So it can be hugely valuable to get those cones scored during autonomous. That's why you see a lot of teams really prioritizing, trying to get all five or even six of their preloaded cones onto those junctions during the first 30 seconds. Now in driver control, of course, those cones are still worth a lot of points, especially on those high junctions. We can see 9410 Frank's Garage, as well as 10415 Warbots, both prioritizing getting those cones onto the high junction. And you can see there one of those high junctions in the center of the field. At the very bottom, you'll notice there's a spring. And so that makes it a little bit more difficult for these teams to get it down. If they knock into it, that'll swing back and forth for a second, meaning they're wasting a little bit of time. So these mechanisms on the robots have to be very, very particular to be able to score those cones onto the junctions. Three of our teams still moving across the field now. Super Screen Bros continuing to blaze blue cones. You can see they have a mechanism on the front side of their robot that allows them to sort of steady that junction when they get ready to drop those cones off, which can really help with the spring. We see a red beacon now going down by 10415 Warbots. All four of our teams still trying to score here. We've got five seconds left. They gotta be quick to get these last cones in for that circuit. And a clutch beacon there by the Red Alliance knocks out the Blue Alliance's circuit. 
Oh, excuse me, the circuit has actually gone around the back side of the field here. You can see it doesn't have to be a straight line to get a circuit, it just has to be a continuous line. So it comes around the blue side and snakes all the way around to the back. Great placement there by the Blue Alliance to secure that circuit.